finding a wool jacket for $6.50 is unheard of. But having that coat last for 25 years with regular seasonal use is just amazing. Wool coats should be made to last. Mine is probably 40 years old now. I discovered my favorite jacket the fall of 1994 at a Salvation Army in Salem, Oregon. I was window shopping with my wife and mother-in-law. It was our first year of marriage and we were broke. As most newlyweds are who marry while in college. We were so broke, we were window shopping at the Salvation Army. When I saw this coat, I had to try it on. The coat fit perfectly. Then I looked at the price and sadly placed it back on the rack. It was selling for $6.50. My wife and I barely had $20 at the end of every month after bills. It was too expensive. My wife told me to buy the coat since I did not have a decent winter jacket to keep me warm during the Oregon winters. We didn't really have the money. We were actually that poor. My mother-in-law stepped in and bought me the coat. I originally felt horrible because I could not afford it myself. However, it is now a mantle I treasure to this day from that act of kindness. Later that year, my wife and I took a job with a Christian multimedia company. We went from two jobs apiece and going to school full time to traveling together in a van across the United States, giving multimedia presentations to schools and church youth groups. It was probably the best thing that could ever have happened to a young married couple. The coat traveled with me, of course. The coat has been with me for 25 years now. I've dry cleaned it once this past year and it cost me $10, more than I purchased the coat. The dry cleaner was amazed the coat looked almost new when he was done. The colors came back to life. I love this coat and it has become my go-to jacket for the transition seasons of fall and spring. I received many compliments on this coat over the past 25 years. I enjoy my coat so much I wanted to learn if the maker was still in existence. Using the coat's original tag, I tracked down the company that commissioned and sold my coat many years ago, the Montana Woolen Shop. The company started April 1, 1974. The Montana Woolen Shop is a family-owned business of four generations. They are still located in Bozeman, Montana. I tracked them down using the internet and contacted them about the coat. They said it was a private label commissioned many years ago, possibly between the years 1974 to 1982. The company that produced the coat was either Pendleton or Woolridge. Back then, Montana Woolen Shop would have other companies design their wool coats and put a private label on them. This is still common practice for many companies today. All I know is the Montana Woolen Shop commissioned the best coat I have ever owned. For it to last 45 to 37 years and then to be in my possession for the last 25 of those years. The Montana Wool Woolen Shop is still in business and has an online presence as well as a storefront in Bozeman, Montana. You can still visit them today. The style of my coat is most likely the jack shirt with the wide collar of the 1970s. As far as today's styles goes, Woolrich offers a men's buffalo overshort burdorf that almost matches my style coat, but it is listed for $530. Pendleton offers a jacket somewhat close to the jacket I have called the Men's Capitol Hill Jacket and retails at $295. Filson has probably the best version of my coat, labeled as a jack shirt for anywhere between $165 and $350 if you want it lined. In another 15 to 20 years, I might find one of these coats in a secondhand store, and if I do, I'll make sure I purchase it to have a nice wool coat for the next 25 years. I hope you find your wool coat that you're looking forward to.